you may our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit be with us. I just want to read a parable from the Messiah about the rain of the heavens on this beautiful day. Hopefully it doesn't rain down on me all crazy <laughs> while I'm out here, but hey, if it does, it's beautiful rain from my Father in heaven. You know, we know the scriptures in the early Yahoo stopped the rain for some years, and we know that in the times to come during Revelations, it speaks about how there'll be two prophets who we're going to rejoice when they come, but you know, the others, the others aren't going to rejoice so much, you know, when they come through and they do what they do, and they stop the rains again, you know, just through the power of our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit, and, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful day, I got a little workout, and Father willing, I want to show a, a beginner, intermediate, and advanced workout a little later on, and then hopefully just do some showcase videos, and some things like that, you know, just quick update with me and my life, you know, my Father, just as I'm just going through life, going through these fasts, you know, I actually just had an interaction and was dehydration. And it was just like an awakening thing for my father because it was just so many things was happening. And it was just like to the point to where, you know, I just, you know, from dehydration, you can die. And I actually felt like I was going to pass away. But it was like, it was more so of like I was sad because before that, I'm going to be honest, you know, just I've been really stressed out lately, brothers and sisters. And Satan was even tempting me with thoughts about killing myself again you know to be honest and it's 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 like it's it's even mind blowing for me to speak and say that this guy is trying to say these things to me and then I was feeding into it a little bit not like I was about to really go do it but it's like part of me was feeding into this stuff you know and we know how the messiah got, how to rebuke the devil and his temptations you know and things like that and yeah that actually that actually happened to me you know and I was and I was going through that and it was actually after me speaking on the video just about how you can say things that not really mean deep down in the core. And it was like, then it, it was like the things, it was like it was just happening to me, you know, like, cause I didn't even mean it, but it was still coming out, things like that. So, you know, my father was just humbling me, comforting me, letting me know the real and the fake, you know, let me know the temptations of the devil and let me know that you don't have to be stressed out over any of these things, you know, had to just leave the job I was working at cause it was just a little too much for me, you know, a little too much for me and the family. and. You know, he just let me know, rush is real, you know, just, he's letting me know the blessings that I have in my life and how I can just, you know, relax, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> that's just where I was with it, you know, dehydration through the night, almost lost my life, man, I, it was like, the, the headache was so piercing, but I was also feeling so calm, I was feeling so calm in the moment as well, like, I was feeling so comforted in the moment, you know, like, I was just, talking to our Father, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit, and I had my wife just there with me, my son is laying on the bed, and it was like, because I've been talking about it so much, like, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, ready to go, but then it's like, he got me to say to the brothers and sisters, are you really ready to go? Hey, because at the end of the day, look at this. Look at all this. You know, of course, it's the kingdom of heaven, but let's let's be happy at this beautiful creation that our Father got. Let's let's save some more people down here. You think you, think you want to go so bad? Let's... Let's help out some more people, though, because our father was putting on my heart. Hey, this mission just started. <laughs> you know, I've only been out, only been awake for a few years. He's like, hey, this still just started for you. <laughs> you know, like, and that's why this is a beautiful parable to read today about the first and the last, you know. You know, the last is first, you know, and things like that. But, yeah, you know, just comforting me, humbling me, and just let me know, like, hey, I can take you right now if you're really ready to go. But then it was like a test for me because he was like, you're not ready to go, you know, and I will really express this on this video as well. By the way, we may have another another beautiful child on the way. So I was thinking about these things as well. And I was like, man, I'm like another child on the way. Child laying down. I'm like, I'm a dad, you know. I can't be stressed out. I can't. This I find that like in the wars, I was talking to my wife about this as well. I gotta let the hey, I gotta let the other brothers and sisters take the take 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 the man not not to say that i'm not definitely in this war this is a spiritual warfare i'm here but like scriptures talk about if you got a wife you got children and hey, you can't be in the war <laughs> so our father he just let me know hey like you gotta relax bro like you gotta relax and i and i need you to do something for me i need you to rest i need you to just work till the land and take care of the fam you know so the dehydration in the nighttime i was really feeling it man like it felt like the most the most piercing headache i ever felt in my life but it was like, I was also very calm in the moment as well. And yeah, it was, it was just like, I don't really know how to explain 
how I was feeling when I was feeling it, but it was just, I was really calm when everything was happening. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> hey, I'm doing good. <laughs> I, I was really calm while it was happening, though, like, I thought this voice was very clear to me. Everything was very clear to me, and, and he just also let me know that when that pain comes, and the scriptures say how we're not going to feel it, hey, that's really, that's really not a lie, you know, because even I was feeling the pain so sharply, my father's voice was so clear and comforting, and it was like, I didn't feel the pain at all, you know, and he just let me know that whatever they try to do to us, brothers and sisters, freeze us, burn us, cut our heads off, you know, shoot us a thousand times. We're definitely not going to feel that. Just like how our brothers got stoned and he's looking up to the heavens. He, he, he didn't, he didn't feel this pain. He feels the comfort from our father. And, you know, it's just, it just lets you know the compassion, you know, the endurance of the set apart ones, you know, that we have to have. So. Yeah, it's just real life. So, Matthew 20, let's read the parable. Go over the study. For the reign of the heavens is like a man, a householder, who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the workers for denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, you too. And then every time you hear, and he went out, it says the reign of the heavens, so just insert that with the reign of the heavens. And the reign of the heavens, I'll just read it from the top, inserting that. For the reign of the heavens is like a man. So the reign of the heavens is like the man. So we'll just insert the reign of the heavens. A householder who went out early in the morning to, to hire workers for his vineyard. And when the reign of the heavens had agreed with the workers for denarius, and the denarius is the kingdom of heaven. That's the payment. A day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about, and the reign of the heavens went out about the third hour. I saw others standing idle in the market. And the reign of the heavens said, You go into the vineyard, and whatever is right, I shall give you. And they went. Having gone out again about the sixth and ninth hour, the reign of the heavens did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, having gone out, the reign of the heavens found others standing idle. I said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one hired us. He said to them, You too go into the vineyard, and whatever is right, you shall receive. And when evening came, the master of the vineyard said to his ma manager, Call the workers and pay, their wa pay them their wages, beginning with the last to the first. And when those came who hired, about the eleventh hour, they had received the kingdom of heaven. And when the first came, they thought they would receive more. But they too received each the reign of the heavens, a silver piece. And when they received it, they grumbled against the householder, saying, These last have worked only one hour, and you made them equal to us, who have borne the burden and the heat of the day, who have borne these years, Born these years and they feel like I've been doing this for 10 years. I had a brother ask me. He said, how long do we need to endure for? I said, how long was the Messiah here? <laughs> he was here for 30 years, bro. Being true the entire time. Look at Yohan Nani and Mercer. Let's get it. Saying these last have worked only one hour. And you made them equal to us who have borne the burden and the heat of the day. But he answering said to one of them, friend, I do you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for denarius? Take yours and go. But I hope to give to this last man as also to you. Is it not right for me to do what I hope with my own? Or is your eye evil because I am good? Thus the last shall be first and the first last. For many are called, but few chosen. So let's break this down, starting at Matthew 20 and 8. And then I'll bring, uh, run back 1930. And when evening came, the master of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last to the first. But this is Matthew 1930. But many who are first shall be last, and the last first. Understand that. And when those came who were hired about the eleventh hour, they each received, and the denarius were inserting the kingdom of heaven, because this is the reward, this is what you receive. And when they and when those came who were hired about the eleventh hour, they each received the kingdom of heaven. And when the first came, you were you were awoke before me, you know. You were awake before I was awake. You know, even myself awake before other brothers and sisters are awake. How you doing? And then with you being awake before other brothers and sisters, you know, it's just is have compassion on one another, you know, and we all get the same reward. So if you see another brother or sister get taken before you, it's not like, what? 
how could you take them before me when I was down here for six years? I was down here for eight. I was down here for 10. I was down here for 30. I was down here for 20. They were they only were work for one year and they just, just went or whatever. It's not like that. So we're going to break these things down. And when those, the last is first. And when those came, this also lets you know that there will be a great multitude when they wake up in the last, last days, you know, and they're like, oh, I repent. And they just go, you know. They may have not had to go through the 10 years that we, that you went through just to wake them up. Or you may even pass. I mean, you're not going to. Well, however it goes, I don't know. I'm not sure how it's going to go. But uh, as in you and your life, whether you pass away before them or they pass away before you. Well, if they're, they're going to be the last, you know, however it's going to go, you know, I, <laughs> that's, that was, that's another point. But um, basically what I'm saying is like, OK, so they just wake up. It's soon, like our, our father's wrath comes. It's the last days. It is what it is. They repent and they just go. You know, but you've been doing this for 10 years. You can't look at that and be like, well, what? I've been doing this for 10 years, but I'm still here. And they just went. It's not like that. It's not like that. And when those came who were hired about the 11th hour, they each received the kingdom of heaven. The Nereus. And when it first came, they thought they would receive more. How could you receive more <laughs> than what your payment is? <laughs> but they too received each a silver piece. The last received their payment first. Wow. We're battling for the same thing. Rejoice when somebody wakes up after you and don't be mad that they're getting paid as much as you That's like we both get hired at the same job Position like this story says and we're both getting 15 an hour It's like I get mad because I've been here for 15 years getting paid the same and you join after the work is done at, After the well after the um, you know, just just the same you join as I join I mean as I've been here and you get the same, you know, the work is done. You know, we both worked. You just came here. I've been here for 15 years. And we both get the same amount on the check, you know. And then it's like me getting mad that we got the same amount on the check when I got, I've been here for 15 years, whatever. And you just came. But you're you're still working. You did what you did. It's repenting. It's work. You have to repent. Cry out to our Father. It's still work. It's still doing things, you know. You may have not been as long as I've been in here in the heat of the day through all these years. But you still came in and did your work, whether it was a day, two days, three days, four days, five days. You feel me? Rejoice that the brothers and sisters are winning like you. Don't be mad. Be glad. And this is Matthew 20, 11, 13. And when they received it, they grumbled against the householder, saying, These last have worked only one hour, and you made them equal to us who have borne the burden in the heat of the day. But he answering said to one of them, Friend, I do you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Did you not agree with me for the kingdom of heaven? <laughs> Did you not agree with me to work for the kingdom of heaven? Take yours and go. But I hope to give to this last man as also to you. Is it not right for me to do what I hope with my own? Or is your eye evil because I am good? Don't be like, you know, in the beginning, um, Cain slew his brother Abel. You know, don't, don't, don't be like that. Is your eye master, master the sin? You know, be mastery over it. Or is your eye evil because I am good? And always pray, you know, Father knows I'm just praying for more endurance. I pray that you may pray for me for that as well. You know, Rush Israel, staying in the Israel consciousness, as we spoke about on the Rush Israel video. Or is your eye evil? Because I am good. Thus the last shall be first, and the first last. For many are called, but few chosen. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Get wisdom and understanding, family. Then I just linked up. Jacob James 5, 16 to 20. Let's keep each other on the straight. Well, this is me. Uh, our Father, Messiah, Holy Spirit, allow me to write this down. Let's keep each other on the straight and narrow road, brothers and sisters. Brothers, if anyone among you goes astray from the truth and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the straying of his way shall save a life from death and cover a great number of sins. So, you know, just understand that's what it's all about. Keeping our life from going astray, you know, as we were going astray for however long it may have been, you know, and... We just have to keep each other on the straight and narrow and just keep working, keep grinding, you know. It's just, it's all about being honest, as honest as we can be, you know. And, yeah, <laughs> I love you, brothers and sisters. I feel much, much better after the revelations that I got, especially taking the Sabbath, you know. Uh, that's I love taking the Sabbath day and learning more about myself, my family, who I need to be, who I am down here, you know, because... It's just, my Father, just let me know I have an um, important mission, you know. There's a lot more people I can save. My Father, let me know. He's like, I can take you now. And I'm not saying anything cocky or weird like that. I'm just letting you know what our Father told me, you know. He said, I can take you now, and you will come to the kingdom of heaven. That, that is where you will go if I take you right now. But he said, 
100 fold, 60 fold, some 30 fold. How many do you want to save? You know, I could take you right now and you have not saved as many as you could have saved. You know, like our brother said, one of the top ones, and he's like, you know, uh, it, it, it's better for you, for y'all's sake that I'm here. You know, I believe that's what he said so that, you know, I could just help you guys out and do my part down here. But it's also beautiful to just enjoy while we are down here and life, you know. So look at the beautiful trees. You know, of course we can't get our branches cut off on the tree. Uh, ask our father to forgive me for even slightly being tempted, you know, because that's not the wave. That's not the wave. That's not the wave, you know, but our father also, as the tall ones also said to be a spectacle for the world, you know, to show to show the people how, how real this battle is, you know, and and to not bring the fake, but to bring what's real, you know. Show show it all, show every part of the journey. You know, that's another thing I like to do even with my train, you know, like I'm showing you guys the real and the reality of how I train, you know, many days when I don't want to train because my days are so long and I still have to do a little bit of something, whether it's on break at work or whatever. And even with form, understanding that, of course, spiritually, form is always perfect, you know, form is always perfect and physically as well, you know, because people, a lot of people don't even understand things like range of motion. I don't want to get too much about it on this video, but I hear a lot of people being a lot, a lot stricter on a range of motion <laughs> and you could say the same thing spiritually as well when people aren't of course this is this is more for spiritual and less physical when i say this but people who aren't clean on the inside and are speaking about things that they don't really understand you know if that makes sense you know because if you've never been clean on the inside <laughs> you know you're just cleaning yourself up, up up on the outside you don't really understand these things you know when it's just coming from a different place you know like speaking of the re realities of training when you don't have that much time to get in like you literally only have your break at work i can't i can't worry about me like uh, i don't know how to explain it you know because it's not that i'm not worried about my form when i do this when i do this set of push-ups but it's more so of that i'm getting many things out when i'm doing this <laughs> you know so it's like and i'm and i'm focusing on something on something different you know i guess the bigger picture like i put on the on the um just on the video talking about how when i when i went for that 75 Every one range of motion wasn't all the way down and all the way up. But understand that when you hit this number, it builds confidence up within you. You know, like even if you're fast, you know, you may get through the fast, you know, and it's like you feel like that fast, that fast got you, that fast beat you up. But after the fast, you're like, yo, I just went three days. <laughs> you know, like I did it. I was praying. I stayed consistent. You know, that I got I got through that rep, you know, like I got through that rep for real, for real. And it's like with these days too it's like yo i got through that rep like i got through that rep though for for like i got that money you know like i got that money you know like so uh, you know and brother says i don't know if that's <laughs> if that, that's something that you really get or understand you know it's just not my father but i'm hard to say so you know but man our father is always very with us i love you all brothers and sisters it's all being real it's all about being thorough it's all about staying sturdy you know it's all about not being an active or passive center you know you just trying to be thorough he's trying to do the mission you know i was also speaking to my wife about how it's sad how we have to take these things realistically like our father put on my heart to say in uh, the last video as in like i'm speaking to my wife about because i said it on another video where it's like people are hearing me saying that you know in my sleep you i'm in my sleep the devil got me i sent in my sleep and it's like people are like, but you see, you see, you know, no, no, he's sending shit. It's like, no, he can't. He's like, hey, listen, we're talking, we're talking about strength for protection. No, we're all sinners. No, we're, no, no, that's talking. It's like, you don't understand. Like, let's break it down even in layman terms. Somebody who's real in the world, let's say they, they slipped up, you know, they did something that wasn't thorough. And I was around worldly people that were real, you know, and they slipped up and did something that wasn't thorough, wasn't thorough in the world. And they owned up to it immediately. Maybe call whoever they need to call or make a move happen, make a post or whatever, and be like, yo, I'm just gonna let you know that wasn't thorough. That was not thorough, that was fake. You know, I folded, <laughs> you know? And it's like, they're still real for that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm still striving for perfection. You know, it's the battle, you know? Like, and if you're awake to the battle, you know it's the battle for real, for real. Like, it's, if, you're, if you're asleep to the battle still, I don't know. That's not who this is about. That's not who this is for, you know. I pray that you repent and I pray that you wake up and I pray that you judge correctly, you know. Because the true brothers and sisters know. They'll hear that and they'll say, no, brother. Pray for this, brother. Keep going, brother. Like, don't stop, brother. Rebuke the devil in your sleep, brother. There's no slander and there's nothing weird. It's, 
yo, my brother, yo, like, let's turn that up. Let's turn that up. It's like when you're working out with each other. You're like, yo, yo, get that. Like, you let that guy do what? Nah, get that. Get that back. Get that back. And I woke up and let them know what I did when I woke up. Nah, we out here. <laughs> we'll preach the gospel more. Harder with these steps, you know? Devil trying to tempt me, make me, make me want to go and kill myself when I got a family? Oh, no. Oh, no. That makes me want to turn up. It makes me want to turn up, brothers and sisters. I don't. It makes me want to turn up because now I know. My father lets me know what my mission really is down here. How many people I can save down here. My father let me know that I hurt her. That hurt her. He said, when you said that, it hurt me. I said, I feel that for real, bro. Like, I feel that, father. And, bro, that's, I don't know how to, you know, I talk to my wife about how I don't know. I don't know how to, like, I want to turn brothers and sisters up. I can, I can only show you the real. You know, I can only show you, like, I'm putting it all on the table, brothers and sisters. Like, I can't even express that enough. You know, like, what I'm doing, I'm putting everything I got on the table for this battle. I'm putting everything I got on the table for this battle. It's not, you know, it's, it's my father let me know I got more in the tank. But every day, I'm giving it everything I got. Every time I make a video, I'm letting y'all know the real, and I'm letting y'all know what I'm going through, and I'm letting y'all know what it is for real, for real. You know, because I was being a false prophet before. My father willed me to just... Be a true prophet now, humbly speaking, for him, you know. So it's just a blessing. It's a humbling thing, you know. And it's something that I worked for and I'm continuing to work for because if I'm going to still be here, there's definitely still more work to do. And I'm accepting that. And it's a humble thing. And, you know, he let me know that I can save more people. So that's that's what I'm going to try and do. You know, that's, that's what I'm going to strive for. That's what I'm going to work for. You know, enjoy more time with my wife. You know, father willing, take some vacations down the line for for will to do that. You know, me and my wife know we want to just it'd be lovely to go on a cruise. And father knows, preach the gospel on the cruise and fast on a cruise. <laughs> you know, talk to my wife about that. Like, yeah, but you you got to put that work in. You know, I can't take a vacation if I ain't put that work in. I can't even eat if I ain't put that work in. Besides, said, yeah, man, those who those who work spiritually. I mean, he said those who work, eat. People don't understand that spiritually as well as physically. You got to do that footwork, you know, <laughs> that footwork literally, missionary work for real, for real, you know. And I don't need to be aligned, a part of a physical church, if that makes sense, when I have the spiritual church with me all the time to do my missionary work. Missionary work, Father willing, he allows me to do things for the people in the streets, you know, and the people just the online that I speak to all throughout the weeks, you know. So it's a blessing, you know, it's, it's a blessing to put this work in. It's a blessing for people to say some of the things that they've been saying to me this past week. Our father's been definitely comforting me, showing me many signs that, hey, these people need you. Like, do you see what these people are saying to you? You know, look what he said. Look what she said. You know, look how they look when they see. You. They're smiling. They're happy. They're happy because they deal with a lot of stuff that's sad all day long. You know, all we need to see is a smile. All we need to see is a brother that's, that's stomping, <laughs> you know. He's keeping it going. He's gnashing his feet. You know, he's he's putting it right in front of the left. And he got it. And he's going. Yeah, man. So, may our Father and Son Holy Spirit be with us. I love you so much, brothers and sisters. I pray that you keep continue putting it right in front of the left. Sometimes you got to stop and smell the roses. Remember my mom said that, you know. It's, that's a real thing. It's an important thing, you know. And that's what I do, you know. But, of course, continue to preach the truth, you know. And teach the truth that our Father put something hard to say, and which is in the scriptures, you know. You read the scriptures, you get revelations from the scriptures, and you tell the people about the revelations that you get from the scriptures, you know. So, again, peace and love, shalom, shalom, family. I pray that everything is well with you. Our Father has me very, very well right now. I feel very, very good right now. It's a very, very blessed day, and Father knows I'm definitely ready to hit the park <laughs> and put this, uh, put, this, put this workout video together for the family, for the people. So, uh... Yeah, peace and love, family. May our Father, Messiah, Holy Spirit be with us. Make sure you stay hydrated after you break your fast. You know, um, definitely is definitely important. You know, of course, for me, that was more so of a spiritual thing. So, you know, make sure you stay spiritually hydrated as well. And I think the thing about that as well, too, was, as my wife said, and as our Father was letting me know why he willed me again to change my name to Rush Israel is because I was pushing myself hard. I was pushing myself too hard, to be honest, physically and uh, mentally. You know, and our Father was letting me know hey, you don't have to do this, you know, like, I know that you were doing it before, and I willed you to do that before, but 
He said the work you just put in these three months you put down here is more work than these people have been putting in their entire lives. You know, and that's not and that's not me a cocky, a prideful type thing. This is what he told me. You know, and this is it's the reality of it. Like I said in the last video, I was on a video previous video, I've been pushing myself to fast more and I've been as physically active active as possible as I am fast, you know, and just mentally pushing myself past boundaries that I didn't even think was possible, that our Father Masana Holy Spirit was willing me to get past, you know, and many things like that. And my father would just let me know, like, hey, rest. You know, I have I have blessings lined up for you so that you don't have to push yourself that hard mentally and physically. You know, another reason why I left the job that I just was at. And I can go back to doing something that's I wouldn't necessarily say easy. Well, it is easier physically, and it's definitely easier physically and mentally for over. But you know, the, the, the spiritual limits of pushing ourselves never stops. But you can definitely take it easier physically and mentally, you know, and just let our Father, Messiah, Holy Spirit guide you on that. And yeah, you know, because Jeff, I was working, I had to wake up early. Then it was a very lukewarm facility, Chick fil A. Couldn't do it. Too lukewarm for me. It was hurting me, you know, it was, it was really hurting me because. I couldn't even read the scriptures before I went in there or work out. Father knows that's how I like to start my day and then get to work. You know, I like to read the Bible for at least 30 minutes to an hour and work out for at least 30 minutes to an hour before I do anything. I couldn't even do that. I had to wind the clock back further to 4.30 because prior to that, my father wanted me to wake up 5 a.m. Then he allowed me to wake up 5.30 a.m., which is the time I wake up every day. You know, I'm except on the Sabbath because he lets me get my rest. So you had to wind the clock back because the shift started at 530. So then you wake up, you know, and then I, I do a prayer. You know, my prayer, my prayers are sometimes long. Like, I mean, sometimes I wake up from my prayer to waking up 430. It's like 445, 450, maybe even 5 a.m., you know, because I like to pray for other brothers and sisters, you know, the people that he puts in my heart to pray for and the prayer that I put up, you know. So then after that, I'm like, okay, still got to brush your teeth. And, of course, you got to drive to the facility, you know, so I wash my face a little bit. All of that, get in the car. By the time all that's done, you know, yeah, the facility is basically time for the shift. Only got time for like a quick, quick reading in. And then on break, I was only able to work out on break. And then right after I got off of my shift, I had to just start the day, you know. Of course, not even eating days, you know. Even on days when I wasn't fasting, not even being able to eat what I really wanted to eat because I'm moving so fast and can't even make moves happen. It's like, Father knows on days when I'm not fasting, of course, it's not eating like a glut, you know, Father. He, he, he got down on me on that. And that's over just times of fasting because, you know, ever since the beginning of when you start fasting, you may, like, break them and be like, it may, it may be on some glutton type time when you first start breaking your fastness. Not for everybody, but it was like that for me. You know, I know I would eat a little too much when I break my fast, for real. And our father, he was getting on me for that stuff. And, you know, started breaking my fast correctly now. But uh, father knows in the days when I do eat, I usually eat just two meals a day. So with my two meals a day, father knows they're very nice meals. <laughs> you know, I... I posted a few on this page, you know, and they're just nice meals, you know. Um, like to get my oatmeal, my fruit, and, you know, my shake, you know. Uh, <laughs> and your father knows me, my hemp seeds and my chia seeds, honey with that, you know, good, nice, good meal, you know. It's on to my stomach up, you know. Father, one, I want to make a video about organic foods. That, that, that's what gets you the gains, you know, fasting, organic food, you know, and you have to beat your body into submission as well, physically, of course, as well as spiritually. But when you fast, it's definitely important to work out. Because that's how you increase your body. But uh, it's definitely important to rest as well, too. Like Father knows, I want to get a little massage gun, you know. Things like hopping into the sauna helps. Resting is just very, very important for the body, you know. Like, see, you see yourself get a lot stronger through the resting, you know, and things like that. Um, yeah, that stuff is very important. Father putting up my heart. Uh, you definitely, definitely got to do that stuff, man. But, um, yeah. You know, Father knows. I like to enjoy my meals <laughs> that I break my fast. You know, may evening meal may be like a spinach saute meal. You know, some other things. <laughs> you know, Father knows. I want to show a lot of. I want. I want to show the people. You know, some meals, quick, easy, fresh, organic, jumping meals <laughs> that you can make. But uh, yeah, I didn't even plan on this video being as long, or even expressing the things that I express on this video, like the dehydration and many other things. To be honest, this video was mainly supposed to just be about the parable of the messiah and the study but you know my father wills you to go and there you go man you know just being vulnerable to the people i'm vulnerable to our father messiah and holy spirit and you know it's just it's a blessing you know it's just definitely a blessing you know so peace and love to the brothers and sisters that see this peace and love 
to the brothers and sisters that have compassion on me, you know, because the battle is hard, you know. And I definitely had compassion on the people I was working with at Chick-fil-A or anybody that's lukewarm or hater of my father. I mean, I was definitely being false prophet, you know. My father asked me to make a video, like I said, exposing all the favorite shows and movies and games I used to play. Father Willen also knows I want to make a video about gaming addiction, you know, and how real that was for me. And just express my story about that, how, like, to be honest, like, it hasn't been long since I just stopped watching things like anime and stuff like that. Like, even me and being in the body, like, it's been, like, four months, I think, my father wanted me to calculate, where, like, I just stopped watching, like, anime and all that type stuff. And, you know, I played chess on my phone, but I've been off that for some time now. I don't really know the month calculation, I don't know if that's three, four months, but... I was definitely playing that, and it's just like, Father has me so busy with this mission. I was like, not time for none of that. <laughs> you know, I got you know, I got people that I can save, you know, through the strength of our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit, and he's allowing me to get stronger, more confident in the spirit, more confident physically, letting people know what I do, and letting them know if you want to work with me, hey, we're about to get this done. Like, this is not a joke. Like, if you're going to work out with me, this is really what we're about to do. You know, because I held myself back in every category, like I told my wife, because a lack of confidence. I didn't think that what I was bringing to the table was, was something that our father let me know. You got something you can bring to the table. You know, it's not like before when I sung my song, the beautiful song, how I was feeling at the time. But I was bringing something to the table. Oh, no, I'm just sitting at the table. Oh, that I was bringing something to the table. Oh, no, I'm just sitting at the table. Oh. Thought I was bringing something to the table. Oh, now I'm still sitting at the table. Oh, Father, forgive me. Oh, oh, Father, forgive me. Oh, oh, thought I was bringing something to the table. Oh, now I'm still sitting at the table. Oh, yeah, uh, Father, got me bringing something to the table now. So, it's, it's beautiful. But may our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit be with us. Pray you all are well. Amen.